Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawl Craft One and my old barn door. And I've had some of my subscribers ask for a tour of my craft room. And I was trying to wait till I got it organized. And it's semi-organized, but I don't think it's ever going to get completely organized. So I figured I would just go ahead and dive in and do it. So it's a little messy because my craft room always stays messy. Um, but that's okay because that just means there's work in progress. So I'm just going to kind of give you an overview shot of my craft room. It's not finished. Um, still more work to be done. Okay. That's a little better. I had to clean off the winds. So this is my little craft area. And then there's a little section over to the other side. Let me see. I'm trying not to make you dizzy, but I'm going to have to move a little bit in this video. So I'll try to move slowly. There's my puppy sleeping. So that is, that's kind of my my train wreck area <laughs> or one of them it's all a train wreck usually so I think what I'll do is just start over here at the door this is the view from the door and I'm not going to show you what's to the far left because that's actually my dresser um, with all of my husband's stuff on it so that one little section um, is for clothes and <laughs> that's where he sits everything when he comes in from work so okay <coughs> oh, sorry all right so here it's kind of hard to see but it's just like a little shoe case <laughs> and that's how I have my ribbon hanging right now so you guys can kind of see ignore my pink tape in the floor I had to tape um, Look, I have two of those little mats so that my chair can roll, but I had to tape them together because <laughs> they slide if I didn't. And so the only tape I could find was that godforsaken bright pink tape. So anyway, <laughs> just ignore that. That is a temporary thing. Okay, so as we walk in, we have on this shelf, we have my sewing notions. Um, in this basket is all my glues, um, a little bit of Mod Podge, baby powder to make my gesso. Here's a little tub of gesso. This is actually the first gesso that I have ever purchased. I haven't even opened it yet, but I thought I would try it and compare it to my homemade gesso and see which I like better. So anyways, I'm going to try and do this quickly. But it, you know, I don't want it to be forever. So anyway, I just have a few jars here. This is some um, lace pieces and little cutoffs um, in those two jars of lace and ribbon. That is a jar that's a cutoff of lace and ribbon. Most of it I got from um, a store on eBay called, I think it's Mattis. Um, can't remember for sure, for sure but anyway. So we have that top shelf, and then let me move my chair. Um, this is all of my beading stuff to make tassels and beads. Um, I used to make earrings and jewelry and things like that, so now I just use all that stuff for junk journals. And then these two boxes, well, the bottom one is empty, but this one just has all of my thread in there. So, I need to get one of those little thread holder things that you put on the wall, um, but I don't have one right now, so. Okay, second shelf of the bookcase. Um, this is my, um, uh, my cuddle bug. <laughs> That's my die cuts for my cuddle bug and um, embossing folders. This is more beading stuff, and that is bead string. And then here I just have a roll of the fabric or silk rosettes. 
And then on the bottom shelf is just kind of stuff. Um, I just have burlap here. That little tub is empty. And then that is uh, just watercolors and some of my mixed media stuff that I use to work in my journals. Um, and then beside there, I have um, shipping boxes. And then some old vintage game boards that I'm going to try and use to make a journal out of. And then underneath there, I know it's hard to see, um, but this little tub here, um, I think I'm probably going to pull it out because it's really pretty. But it's got like um, clothes pins galore, uh, craft sticks and things like that. This box here just kind of has um, a conglomeration of different stuff. And then in this little tub here, trying not to get into the light. I know y'all can't see good. But that's just some tags and things that I got um, from friends. Um, I did a swap, a tag swap. And then in that bag is bags and acetate and plastic and things like that um, that I use for making my shaker cards. And then in that box back there is just chipboard and mixed media stuff. And then beside the bookshelf on the top shelf of this little black shelf, which I hate, but it's going to have to do for now um, until I can do better. This is just a little box that has um, snacks <laughs> and cotton balls. And it's just kind of a mishmash of um, different stuff. I found these on sale at Hobby Lobby for like a buck fifty. And it's cowboy stuff, and I want to do a cowboy journal, so I grabbed it since it was so cheap. And then uh, a couple of my fabric rulers and some gloves. And then also on that black on the top of that black shelf, I have this, which is a huge folder, and it is seriously that thick um, of Creative Memories stickers mostly creative memory stickers that I have had for years and years and every now and then I use them and I need to go through them I just have not had the time to do that so um in this little box I just have very few little charms and old jewelry pieces this is just fabric pieces that are circles um rubber bands and then these are pictures that I use in my journals and then inside this little thing oops got my finger uh, I just have fabric scraps, and that one's empty, and that one just has like tea light candles, because I like to burn candles in here. Um, so, and the reason I have all this stuff over on this side is because my sewing machine sits here. So, I have everything kind of convenient um, to my sewing machine. Alright, so then we have this shelf, and I'm not going to pull every basket out. Um, and I'm going to label everything. I have it just temporarily labeled right now um, until I can get the labels printed. But those are things that I have for sale in my Etsy store. Tags, um, die cuts, paper ribbons, envelopes, things like that. This little tub holds my stencils and my alcohol inks and all that good stuff. This is just a little tub of stickles which I always forget to use, and some glossy accents, which I always forget to use. And then this little tub here has, um, <laughs> should be in my kitchen, because it says fresh baked, but it has my stamps, and most of my stamps are in here, especially the bigger ones. And then here's some of my stamp blocks, and some smaller stamps, and some alphabet stamps. Here is um, just an old, game box and it has um guest checks little notepads sales receipt books bingo cards let me see if i can flip it up so that you can kind of see flash cards um all kinds of game pieces and game cards so that's pretty much i have two boxes like that so and then um well, we all know what that is. This is some ephemera. It's like um, stickers and things like that. And little flowers. And then little pearls. Um, in different colors. Just, you know, just little odd and end little sticker things. So 
So that's that. And then on the next shelf up is a milk crate that's empty. That is my coffee dyed paper. And I'm going to paint. When I got these shelves, Home Depot, the guy at Home Depot, he was like, oh, we can cut them and it's cheaper for you. Well, he didn't tell me this was going to happen. So now I guess I'm going to paint um, these edges. So just ignore that for now. Like I say, it's not finished, but you can kind of get the gist. But anyway, this is my coffee dyed paper. Um, as you can see, I'm running low. So I will be spending a day here pretty soon starting up a batch. And then this box has um, journal covers and book covers um, that are waiting to be made into a book. And then my paper. Those are my doilies that I have on sale um, on, in my Etsy store. And then that's just a couple of boxes of cards. And then on the very top shelf, that basket holds flowers, fabric flowers that I made. And then the little purple basket beside it, I ain't going to be able to point. I'm too short. Anyway, the little purple basket beside it has paper flowers. And then the brown box has silk flowers. The teal tub has my empty jars and stuff from my gesso and Mod Podge and just mixing things in. That tub has my books in progress. And then that tub or basket or whatever you want to call it has all of my Etsy kits. So the ones that are for sale on my Etsy store. Then, let me see, try not to make you dizzy. Okay, so you come this way, excuse my table. Um, I'm going to eventually cover my tables in something. Um, these are old um, church fellowship hall tables, so they have seen better days. Um, but again, it's a work in progress, and I haven't got to that yet. So this is just a little basket that I keep kind of right here so that I can have... It's just fabric so that I can have some fabric candy. This is my little thread trash can and then a couple of jars of paint. Um, this is for shoving stuff down when I used to make pillows and stuff. Um, but that's my sewing scissors and my pinking shears and all that good stuff. And I made that super cute little jar. I don't know if you can see it. But it's just made out of a tin can. And... Uh, so, that was back in the days before I was doing journals and had time to do things like that. <laughs> okay, and then this little shelf um, was my daughter's. It held little, tiny little dolls on it. And she no longer wanted them. Uh, that's my calendar, which I can't use. As you can see, it still says March. <laughs> I have to move it, but I just don't have much wall space in here. Um, so this is all my paint brushes, um, hand sanitizer and, um, ink daubers. These are little strips that I use for my scrappy tags. And then here's all of my inks and all of my paints. So kind of got them color coordinated and, and then this cup, um, my best friend gave me years and years ago and I chipped it. So I don't drink out of it anymore, but I do paint the bottom and tap it on pages so that I can get that coffee stained on the paper look. And then again, and on top of this table, I have my printer, my laptop and my mouse and my old cutting mat that I have now replaced. Thank goodness, because it was in pitiful shape. And I want y'all to look real quick. Outside my window, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I have a bird feeder hanging out there. And I also, if you see the little string hanging down, I had a little, one of those little sunflower bells. And the birds go crazy over it, but the squirrels took off with the little sunflower bell. So, um, they ate it all before the birds could get to it. So anyway, on a side note. Okay, so down there, I just have my sewing box and then a little basket that has fabric squares in it. Um, really for making quilts. And I had it in mind that I was going to make a quilt for my bed. Well, that was, I think, two years ago when I bought that. So, yeah, that was real successful. And then in this tub is where 
the majority of my fabrics are. So, in the bottom drawer, um, that's just a scrap piece that I've got to fix. But I just have little bags that have, of projects that I started. And then I have some of this white fabric, some vintage fabric that I found at a thrift store, and then a big old hunk of burlap. And then the second drawer holds, oops, sorry, um, mostly my farmhouse journal type fabrics. Let me see if I can get, maybe that's a little better. I'm kind of in the light. So anyway... Those are all of my fabrics that I make for my country rustic farmhouse type journals. And there's, you know, old blue jeans and things like that. And then a little bit of burlap. And then in the top drawer, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to try and sit down and see if this will work a little better. These are all of my florals. And I try to have them color coordinated so that I know what I have in what colors. And then back in the back, I don't know if you can see good, but I have my kit that I got from Selena, and then my pockets from Kristen, and then these are some of those packs that my best friend sent me um, in a goodie package. So that is where the majority of my fabrics are. Um, so, and then, don't look at my mess over here, because I got to do something with all this. Um, I'm thinking I might have to run some cords under this mat down below or something, but still hadn't figured that out. In this box is, um, this is underneath the table as well, and it just has rolls of craft paper, wrapping paper, vintage wallpaper, then it has wax paper, um, parchment paper, just that kind of thing. Mostly the rolls of stuff that's kind of hard to store, I put down there in that little, it's like a, a basket I got it at a place called Hammers, which is like a, a liquidation store around here. Okay, and then underneath, well, let's just, let me back up a little bit. Let me move my chair again. Okay, so this is where the action takes place, okay? So, I'm going to start from the bottom and go up, I think. So, in this box are punches. Oops, I think I'm taking pictures. I'm trying not to get my fingers in the way, but it's a little hard. Yeah, I'm still taking pictures. <laughs> this is harder than it looks, guys. Okay, in this drawer, it's a train wreck right now. But I have some coffee dyed guest checks. And then I have coffee dyed index cards, run over of game cards, playing cards, bingo cards, um, tickets, phase 10, I think that's a bunch of taboo cards, um, and then this is um, a little pack to make cards with. So this is kind of a mishmash of stuff in this drawer until I get a little better, better organized. So, um, these tickets, I just coffee dyed and threw in here, so it's not going to be where they stay, but I just haven't figured out where they're going to stay yet. And then this drawer, oops, well, you might could see if I move my finger. <laughs> Sorry. This drawer has um, tags and book pages in progress and guest checks, things that I'm going to be decoupaging. So, that has, that's in that drawer. Why am I caught on something? There we go. Excuse my floor. I have um, been working on a Christmas trunk journal. And this room yesterday was an absolute train wreck. It was horrible. This is just bags and yarn that I don't know what to do with. It came in a little um, box thing that I bought, and I took it all out so I could use the little drawers for something else. Then I have a bingo and a Yahtzee game with my wax papers that I use for mixed media stuff. And then this drawer has um, little bits and pieces to make collages. 
this kind of has a mishmash of stuff too. It's got eyelash trims, different kinds of trims in here. I think that one's empty. There's a little tub of um, little rosettes. This has finished paper clips and things like that. This is like just little flower cutouts. Hey, there's those. <laughs> there's those I was looking for. That's too funny. And just some extra little fabric. This drawer is used a lot, so it stays pretty messy. These are just little snippets. And so are these, mostly, other than those trims. These are just kind of little snippets of fabrics and things like that. Fabrics and trims. Okay. These drawers are not the best drawers, but they work. Now, this is all my laces and silky fabrics, um, things like that. So, I have those. They're mostly cream and white, but I do have some that are colored. So, I use that mostly for my shabby chic stuff. I'm going to try and bend down here, but it may be a mistake because my knee's been messed up. I'm still taking pictures. This is just some velvet that I got from a thrift store and this is that muslin that I got from a thrift store that I haven't done anything with yet. These are all of those fabrics that I got from the Habitat for Humanity. So this is just kind of a conglomeration of little mismatch fabrics and things that I need to cut up and do something with. This was an old um, shower curtain but it's kind of that canvas material so i thought i could cut it up and use it for something too so little by little i will get there with it maybe i don't know it's always a work in progress <laughs> and this work always gets put off because i'm always making journals okay and then down here is a whole nother one of those creative memories notebooks that is full of cardstock paper and my trash can which needs to be empty okay so we're going to come up here on the table i have my glue gun now i'm left-handed so stuff like this sits to my left my tab punch oh and i need to put this back in this drawer sorry guys i got a cough <coughs> let me get a drink of coffee Yes, it's 8 o'clock at night and I'm drinking coffee. It's probably why I never sleep. Okay, so anyway, I have my trimmer. And then all of these papers, well, I have a few coffee dyed matte pages here. And then this is that newsprint pad. These are just some little poster pads. But all of this is like... Um... This here is just kind of like odd and end scrapbook paper. And then from here to here <laughs> is all of my florals. These are my floral scrap pads. So, and my pretty barn woods. Um, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought that. So, um, yeah, I have all different kinds of paper pads and pretty stuff that I can't wait to use. I've been working on a Christmas journal for a while, so all of these things that I bought, I haven't got to play with yet, but that's okay, because that's coming soon, because I just finished my Christmas journal. And then these are really cool. I got these the other day at Hobby Lobby. Um, they are... Warren wallpaper. They're um, 5 inch by 8 inch and there's 24 in each pack. So I got two packs of them because they're super cute. Look. I'm probably going to have to do two videos of this guys. Sorry. But anyway, aren't those cute papers? So I got two of them. We'll, I'm going to try them and see. This is a book cover um, waiting to be a journal. I do a floral in that and then these are my farmhouse papers so these are all 
getting ready to go into a journal. And this is just one of those little plastic divider things, you know, that you have in the office supply stores. So, and then I put my extra paper trimmer here. I don't like this one as good as I like this one, simply because this one has this little wire thing that can get you right on whatever line you want. This one can't, and this one, the blade goes dull a lot faster than this one. And you have to order, because this is from Cricut. So you have to order the blades from them, and so it takes me longer. There's my Martha, um, I think that's the Martha Stewart scoreboard, yeah. Then um, I got the big paper punch, and then the new mini paper punch. I have my eyelash trims. Some more eyelash trims, the ones that I use the most often, are here in those jars. This is my tool box. <laughs> this is my go-to. That's what I go to the most. Um, between this, this here, and that there. I use all three of those the most in this craft room. So, um, and then I have, let me see my new mat that I got I'm excited about and I'm as you can see I'm getting ready to start working on a gypsy slash hippie slash bohemian journal and so I'm going to go through these are all books that I had started and didn't get to finish yet so I'm going to go through there and see what I can add with that Okay, so I have that there. Then I have these little drawers here. And I just got these little drawers, so they don't have a lot in them yet. Well, that one don't want to open, just one-handed. Anyway, nothing's in there or there. This has just got some little charms. And then I have another one sitting behind it. This is one of those little locker shelves. Love it. I've been using it forever. Um, and here I just have some Prima flowers that I just recently got from Hobby Lobby and both of these and I'm not sure if I have yeah that one's empty too so haven't filled that one up yet and then here I have you know all of my colored pencils these are creative memories pencil pens that I've had for years and years and years and they still work these are little tools like tweezers and um, things like that pliers, little um, kebab sticks that I use for stuff. Um, and this is my card holder. And then this holds all of my little die cuts like circles and flowers and just different shapes and things like that. And then this is the little thing that the yarn came in that I showed you in that drawer down there. And it's just got little Tim Holtz um, die cuts. This is from these were from my friend Melody, not Melody, Dawn. Um, just some little flags in there. More Tim Holtz die cuts. I guess I could hold the camera up where you can see. And then I just have bought all of these Tim Holtz things. Um, I was not willing to spend the money on them before. Those two I think are empty other than I got. I finally found some of those. It took me forever to find them. I had to order them online. There is my journal, one of my journals. That's my first journal I ever made for myself. Back there is my prayer journal that my sweet friend Trina sent me. So um, I use that for my prayers. And then this is just kind of a little conglomeration of stuff. I have this that my sweet friend Jamie sent me and I use it to write down my favorite paper pads um, and things like that so that I can remember um, what I want to go back and order and then this is just some little pieces of embossed papers and things that I'm gonna make tags with and then some paper clips and just kind of a, a little I don't know there's no organization to this okay it's just where I stuff stuff <laughs> little bags uh, organza bags this has, hang on guys, 